Hey guys, this is Nirpom at the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. We're here at DEMA 2020 with Nauticam and we're just going to go over a few of the uh, cool new stuff that Nauticam has. Uh, so this is Phil and he'll take it away. Hey guys. So the first one here we're going to go over, this is the new Nauticam housing for the Canon R7. It is their new APS-C crop sensor mirrorless camera. One of the neatest things in my opinion on this camera is that Canon now has a native RFS mount. It's an 18 to 45 millimeter lens that's compatible with the WWLC. So it gives you extreme versatility in the zoom range with a very small water contact optic to make a really small package. Um, on the wide end, you can get roughly 130 degrees of coverage with this one and then still allow full zoom through, just making it for a very versatile setup. We'll go on to the Next new optic here, this is the Nauticam WACP C here, so the new compact version of the WACP one. Uh, you, it works with all the same lenses as WACP one. The biggest difference is that this is approximately you lose about one F, one stop of sharpness when it when it comes to using it compared to WACP one. Um, but it's overall a much smaller and lighter weight. And then like this one here is set up with the Sony 28 to 60. So again, you know, giving you a really versatile zoom range, the same 130 degrees of coverage with full zoom through, but at a much smaller and more affordable price point. And then here we've got the housing for the Canon R5C, which is probably one of the most advanced hybrid cameras out there now in terms of both still photos and video quality. Um, one of the neatest things that our housing accommodates and what's truly required for the camera is that uh, the R5C will allow you to record 8K 60P Canon RAW light. In order to do that, you need an external power source. So in the bottom of this housing here, we have this power bank that not only extends that runtime to about five or six hours, but gives you the option to record the 8K 60P Canon RAW light internally without having to use any external recorders. All right, so this is the new angled EMWL here. So you can see the relay lens here comes down at an angle. Um, still compatible with all four objective lenses, the 60 degree, 100 degree, 130, and 160 degree lens. And then the other new accessories and prototypes that we have for the EMWL are now the new relay viewfinders. We've got one here both at an angled one and set up on the R5 system here is Here's a straight one. What this allows us to do is, as you can see on here, eliminate the relay portion on the EMWL, making it much shorter, and then using the actual viewfinder itself to invert the image back. 